the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries continues its eradication exercise to rid Trinidad and Tobago of the giant African snail. The snail is said to have been brought in illegally in 2008, and the Agriculture Ministry is reminding this pest still poses a problem in this country. Considered one of the biggest snails in the world, representatives of the ministry hosted a webinar recently aimed at educating the public about its features and also preventing the spread to non-infested parts of the country. Agricultural entomologist Rishi Mohansing said that the ministry continues surveillance of the giant African snail. On the tree, it's underneath the leaf. That is a banana plant. And they love banana plants, they love banana trees, they love popo, but you find them on other plants as well. Now the thing is, it's a land snail. So most people will be looking on the ground for the snail. But if you look at the picture there, it is actually under the leaves of the plant. Mr. Mohan Singh said sanitation is a key to preventing the spread of eradicating the giant African snail. He said managing the mere presence of the snail continues to be a problem. Feeds on over 500 species of plants. Now if you start checking with your fingers, the number of plants that you know, you will see basically it's any plant you could think of. From vegetable crops, fruit trees, forest trees, to even ornamental plants. So it affects farmers who, who grow crops for our um, consumption, but it also affects those people who actually sell lumber and also people who do ornamental plants for landscape and things like that. 